Continuing with our series on budget cordless vacuum cleaners, I'm happy to be reviewing the Dirt Devil Reach Max Plus. We put it through a lot of tests and this is our review based on the results. Links in the description and let's get started. The Dirt Devil Reach Max Plus cordless vacuum cleaner has a lot going for it besides its very cheap price tag. It comes with an interesting assortment of attachments including an onboard crevice tool, a powered stair tool which has an adjustable swivel and an adjustable front plate which can be used to vacuum the vertical portion of stairs. It has two power modes, a low and a high power. The high power is accessed by pressing the power button twice. Its power was pretty good for its price range. We measured it at 25 inches of water lift and its airflow at 29 CFM on low power and 33 CFM on high power at the wand which for context is just a touch better than the Eureka Power Plush, which we just reviewed, and could be considered a little less than the Dyson V10 on medium power, but quite a bit lower than the Dyson V8 or V10 on high power. As expected, it did very well on carpet, picking up all the material we put down from fine debris to pet hair to large debris. The only issue with its carpet pickup is the same issue you're going to have with just about every cordless vacuum, which is that because of its softer bristles, it doesn't have as much in the way of agitation as a standard vacuum cleaner, which means that it's not going to deep clean the carpet as good as an upright. Don't get me wrong, the Dirt Devil does as good or better at deep cleaning carpets than most cordless vacuums, but it's still limited in what it can do. I was expecting to really dislike the hard floor performance of the Reach Max Plus because there's no way to turn off the brush roll, which usually means that it will scatter debris, but maybe because of the soft bristles or the rubber seal on the cleaner head, it didn't do this at all. In fact, I really liked its hard floor performance as it picked up everything from fine debris, including sand, to pet hair, and even larger debris. In fact, it did better than the Hoover React with large debris, which I was testing at the same time. Despite that, its performance on the crevice pickup test was below average. This usually means that the cleaner head doesn't have a great seal on hard floors, which is often the case with vacuums that can pick up larger debris on hard floors. So it's a worthy trade-off in my opinion. We tested the battery life at 14 minutes and 58 seconds on high power with the cleaner head attached, and 22 minutes and 6 seconds on low power, which is decent, and I did find low power to be pretty good for both hard floors and carpets. The Dirt Devil Reach Max Plus weighs 6.5 pounds, which is slightly above average, but the weight is distributed differently than most cordless vacuums, since the handle is on the top instead of on the side, which reduces forearm strain considerably. I found it to be less tiring on the arm when vacuuming normally than many of its competitors. The odd shape does make it awkward for emptying the dustbin though. On that point, the dustbin measures 0.7 liters, which is just a hair above average for cordless vacuums. But I actually couldn't test this myself because every time I tried, the air intake got clogged. During all the regular pickup tests, I didn't notice this, but when trying to vacuum large quantities of material, it clogged every time. You have to dig out the material from the intake, and I would suspect this would be something to keep an eye on since it would drastically reduce the airflow with even a little clog. I also found that the tools were really hard to remove at first, like you had to pull very hard to get them off, but this did seem to become easier over time. So the pros for the Dirt Devil Reach are that it's very inexpensive, it's above average for both carpet and hard floors, it has a decent attachment package and a decent battery life. It's not better than a Dyson or anything, but the Dirt Devil is a really good value product in my opinion. Links in the description for current prices and reviews of the Dirt Devil Reach Max Plus, and consider a like if this video helped you out. Also consider subscribing to Vacuum Wars as we have a lot more cordless vacuum tests coming up. Thanks for watching.